So if you were having a conversation with someone and they began to yawn while you were talking, you'd be justified to feel insulted, right? After all, they've either grown tired or bored of you and who wants to feel responsible for either of those things? Well, it turns out that might not be the case after all. Today, we're taking a look at five reasons why researchers think people yawn. Reason number one, a change in alertness. Now, while it's obvious that we yawn when preparing to go to bed or begin a task when we're tired, there are other occasions where yawning is common, but not necessarily related to fatigue. Many athletes yawn before beginning competition. Some people feel the urge to yawn when beginning an important business meeting. This has led some researchers to believe that yawning is one way that the body prepares itself for a change in alertness. And while one change could be the body preparing to shut itself down for the night, others could be getting ready for exercise or sitting down to take a test. When the brain is preparing to either gear up or slow down for the next part of our day, yawning could be a way of hitting the reset button on cognitive and physical readiness. Reason number two, clearing toxins. One of the oldest theories about yawning is that we yawn to compensate for low oxygen levels in our lungs and our bloodstream. When we yawn, our heart rate increases, which in turn delivers more oxygen to the brain and can remove toxins from our blood. This theory has been around for some time, but has been questioned in recent years. Studies have shown that we don't yawn less in an oxygen-rich environment, nor do we yawn more when oxygen levels in the air around us are low. Nevertheless, the sudden intake of oxygen in a yawn does increase oxygen levels in our blood, leading some scientists to believe that yawning is primarily a respiratory function. Reason number three, cooling the brain. One theory that has gained traction in recent years is that yawning is actually a multifaceted effort by the body to cool the brain. The facial movements of yawning increase blood flow, a deep breath in draws spinal fluid from the brain, and the cooler air from outside of the body cools the fluid before its return. Additionally, studies prove that we yawn more often when the air outside of our body is cooler than our body's temperature. Dr. Andrew Gallup, a postdoctoral research associate at Princeton University, told WebMD, Together, these processes may act like a radiator, removing blood from the brain while introducing cooler blood from the lungs and the extremities. While Gallup acknowledges that this might not be the only reason that humans and other vertebrates yawn, this theory is the only one that coincides with all of the findings of his research. Reason number four, communication. Now, it should come as no surprise to any of us that yawning is contagious. In fact, there's a 45% chance that you have yawned during this video based solely on hearing me say the word yawn or seeing pictures of other people yawning. Some studies have shown that people who are affected by contagious yawning are more likely to show up as having a propensity for empathy in personality profiles. One Chinese study suggested it's not empathy that's at play, but a greater awareness of social cues. Regardless, the fact that yawning is provably contagious likely means that it serves more than just a physiological purpose. Some scientists believe that it's rooted in the communication of alertness or readiness within a people group, or possibly to show others that you are empathetic to their current physical or mental fatigue. Reason number five, remaining fetal behavior. Are there things in your life that you do out of pure habit? Well, yawning might be one of those things. There are researchers who believe that yawning serves no physiological or social purpose. Instead, they believe that it's just a leftover impulse from before you were even born. Research shows that before a baby is born, they will yawn in utero as a means of clearing fluid and tissue from their airways. Richard Roberts of the Genetics and Prenatal Diagnostic Center in Signal Mountain, Tennessee, told the online publication New Scientist, there is no reason why babies and adults and children need to yawn and hiccup adding that he believes these behaviors to be useless impulses left over from our fetal development. And if that's true, then 45% of you have been yawning throughout this video for absolutely no reason. So the next time your boss is offended by that pre-presentation yawn that you displayed in front of the CEO, just tell him it's a part of your warm-up routine, because there are reasons why people yawn. Just make sure everyone else isn't yawning during the presentation. That could be your fault.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you have an idea for something you want us to cover here on 5R, please leave a comment down below and let us know what that could be. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon, and we'll see you next time.